Now, can we talk about WandaVision before I have to go and um, take care of this, this um, eight-month-old tomorrow? I was like, ain't it, ain't it time for you to take over? It's just about. <laughs> it's just about. Um, uh, it's just about. But there was a deleted scene mm. from WandaVision, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -mm -mm. And let me put up here what they had to say about it. Max Shakeman explained to Kevin Smith and Borderline that originally a subplot was filmed involving the twins, Monica Darcy and Ralph Boner, as they attempted to steal the dark hold from Agatha Harkness' basement. It sounds like it would have teased more monstrous things in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as the director confirmed that Agatha's rabbit, Scratchy, would have been revealed as a demon. Shouts out to be Avery because he thought that that rabbit was going to be a demon. Mm. <laughs> Shakeman uh, also uh, confirmed that the earlier tease about the aerospace engineer was purposefully included. Shouts out to me because I said it. But <laughs> a scene payoff pay off the reference was seemingly taken out when the audience began speculating about Reed Richards arriving wow. to the show. However... The real person that we was talking about arriving yep. was not Reed Richards, but this brother right here who is pimp slapping Captain Marvel and mm. uppercutting the Hulk all at the same time. And his engineering ass is called the Blue Marvel. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. here's, here's the Marvel Ultimate series where he's with Spectra, he's with Captain Marvel, and he's talking to Black Panther. He is just the damn man. Larry, I give it to you first. Would you have wanted to see that ending the way they described it? Yeah, that sounds like it would have been dope. It sounds like maybe all of, all of us should have shut our mouths a little bit. <laughs> yep. Uh, oh why are y'all falling for this? Why are y'all y'all really gonna fall for the gimmicks? Y'all gonna I'm be the today? That's what y'all know. Not, it would have been nice. I mean, it's not gonna stop anybody from saying what they want to say and doing what they want to do. I mean, until Marvel starts cutting people checks, we're gonna keep on making money talking about stuff we want to talk about. So. I'm actually, you know, I'm actually glad. I'm actually glad that they took it out. You are. Why are you glad? It. Because I think that they, uh, I, they would have written themselves into a corner. You know, now that they're what? out, they uh, have more options. Uh, right. You know, to go with. You know, coming in the future. Like I, like I was telling y'all, I think either this morning or yesterday, I forgot to ask y'all like why Doctor Strange didn't pop up. That was disappointing to me that he didn't. But at the same time, I think it's best that he didn't. As long I'm, I'll be patient. As long as when this movie comes out and they have a good explanation, then I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. uh, you know. But if not, that that is bad writing. But I just think that it, it's frustrating. We just have to be patient. But you know, I don't think they just wanted to write themselves in the corner and be and be stuck. You know, with what rules they set in this final episode. Okay, E man, what you think? Um, I mean, I could, you know, first of all, I had suspicions over uh, Senor, Senor Scratchy myself um, as well. <laughs> and, um, you know, like one thing I try to tell people, you know, as I try to be a little Marvel detective myself, um, one thing that is always important to remember is the fact that nothing is put into these million, hundred million dollar products for nothing. Right. Nobody's going to take the time to write a line right. or direct a scene for nothing. Yes, something could be just an Easter egg. It could be a mild reference. It could be a joke. But the fact that, you know, they kept teasing the aerospace engineer and, oh, my friend's on the way. Hey, my friend will be here in an hour. Like, clearly, that was something that was intentional and it was mm -hmm. edited out later, you know, or whatever for whatever reason. Um, I'm a little disappointed to hear that Marvel would even react to fan theories after the product is done. That's that a good point. Me. That part bothers me because oh, I like to believe that whatever they do is something that they believe in, that they are set with. And if people guess it, whatever. And if they don't guess it, you know, again, whatever. Tell your story. But if you are reacting to fan theories this early, you know, or I'm sorry, this late in the game in post production, that to me is kind of like mm, I don't know. I feel a little, I smell a little weakness. The, the, know, my, 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 my rejection of that they're is, lying. I, I think, who's yeah, lying? I don't who's lying? That. You think they're lying? As far as they're lying. They do with these hundred million dollar projects is on purpose, and they ain't about to change that because somebody said some shit on YouTube. That's I would hope not. Well, 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 maybe because maybe because they're hearing how passionate everybody was, they wanted to make sure that the. 
work into this stuff. And I ain't on worked on been around nothing like no Marvel project with a hundred million and all these people, costume directors, cast and writers, comic. Oh, it's just too much to be trying to change because they saw a YouTube or something. I hope. Say I something. hope that's the case. I hope that's the case. Could it be because I, I, everybody I was that. so? Because it could it be because everybody was so passionate about it, they wanted the first impression. Uh, to be a home run and just like man you know we was you know we didn't think this was going to be this big deal this reveal but I don't think everybody's happened. anticipating it let, let's let not reveal it right now let's try to make it that much better so when, when it is revealed it'll it'll blow everybody away somebody I, I call don't... on me somebody call on me call on me Toronto. Toronto. Thank, <laughs> thank you they're lying they're lying. They're lying. Okay. Right. They're lying. So you mean to tell me, out of all the other things that people have predicted, honey, they mm. you spoiled the whole thing about Evan Peters being on there. People said that Pietro was gonna be on there. They guess Agatha from like the first episode. They figured out who Agatha the is. So you want right. me to tell me that because people were already talking about. Fantastic Four, and the only reason that people was talking about Fantastic Four is because y'all brought up Fantastic Four at Comic Con. So anything Guilty. that we were talking about is something that you already started this speculation on in the first place. So let me just call it what it is. Let me help y'all understand the truth. Let me open up your eyes, okay? Mm. People were upset about WandaVision because they were promised one type of show and they got a totally different other type of show where they introduced all these little plot lines, never tied anything up by the finale, and people were felt very underwhelmed by the episode. And people were especially upset because people were upset because for four weeks, y'all talked about this damn engineer that never came up. So once everyone was upset, as I knew they would be by the time we got to the finale, because unanswered questions, oh, we took that out. So you mean to tell me you paid all these people this money for whoever you cast it to be Marvel or to be Reed Richards? You paid them all this money and you just took it out? You just took right. it out? <laughs> Who is believing right. that? Because I'm not. Yeah. If they do take stuff out and change stuff, it's not because of people on YouTube or social media. It's because yeah. whatever they decided to do internally right. is stuff. You know, something I mean? else came up. Yeah. 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 Exactly. 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 Shoot stuff that literally shoots fake scenes to throw you off the track. You forget about all the fake scenes they shot for Endgame and put it mm. in the trailer that never made it to the finished yep. product. All they the really do this fake stuff on purpose. Just, they, yeah. I, yeah, they just that, do so much and just leave stuff on the cutting room floor. Yeah, like you I said, I, I hope they wouldn't do that because that'd be real whack of them to be sitting here bending the, to us. You no, know, they're not gonna do that. Fan theory is, you know, like us. That I'd expect <laughs> better. Know, I'd expect better. Watch the shows, then watch the YouTube reviews and everything. You know what I mean? For sure. Most people yeah. that watch the movies and stuff, the majority that spent the billion at the box office didn't go into YouTube afterwards and see what people say. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. So majority of people that watch that stuff don't watch the YouTube mm -hmm. stuff. It's only the real serious people that watch it. And they already going to have a higher level of stuff and know stuff that other people don't anyway. Now, you know, whether, you know, like regardless this dude, of I didn't even know who he was. Like, he must have came into the comic world after oh, he's I new. stopped reading comics. So I didn't know who the hell he was. Lamont, when, when did Blue Marvel come? It was like 2000s, wasn't he? Oh, yeah, he, he was late. He was late 2000s. Yeah, that's why I was yeah. going to say 20, not 2015. No, no, he wasn't. It was like 2009, some, Nine, somewhere okay. around yeah, there. Right. During the Ultimate. During yeah, the yeah, yeah. yeah. So I had no idea who that He wasn't going to blow people Blue away. Marvel. I'm like, what? Who's Blue Marvel? <laughs> right. So yeah, he, he wasn't, wasn't going to blow people away. Like, I didn't know, what, that, I didn't know yeah. what to expect and knew that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So everybody don't read the comics. I, I read that stuff when I was younger, but you know, I yeah. didn't read it like that no more and stuff, so I didn't know. Yeah. Now, I mean, the one thing I will say, regardless of whether they were intentional with this or not, it, whatever, I don't really care. Um, the one thing that I do like is the fact that what this ended up doing, hopefully, moving forward, is actually shape our expectations you know, from now on, when we see these upcoming, uh, uh, you know, Disney Plus Marvel shows, we're not about to sit here and be like, "Oh man, they gotta introduce this big, huge concept." Yeah, no, but they, you're doing gonna... that. Y'all still gonna be theorizing? Hey, hey, hey. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not me. 
Because even though I do my theories, at the end of every theory, I tell people it's just a theory. Have fun with it. Don't put no weight on it. You can mm-hmm. theorize and speculate, but don't count on these things because that's mm-hmm. how you get disappointed. Not you, Sharonda, but I'm just saying that's how you people. Know, I get... gave up on theorizing. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like it, it's one of those things where it's kind of like now people can just go into Falcon and Winter Soldier. You can go into She Hulk. You can go into whatever Ms. Marvel. I don't know whatever's coming up, and don't be sitting here thinking like, "Oh man, they about to bring in mutants." Oh man, we doing the multiverse. Oh man, we doing like chill. They're gonna tell the story. But they brought it up. Girl. But you got to blame Marvel. Like this, this goes back to I was wait, just having where, a wait, where, where am I? Bl- where are we blaming Marvel? What do, you, what do you mean? Marvel brought up the multiverse when yes. when I was sitting in Hall H. That's when they said that the multiverse was coming up. Yeah. That's when they said that WandaVision ties directly into Doctor Strange, which has the multiverse in Correct. the title. So they Correct. started all of this speculation that everybody had. But right. I think it comes back to what, like, do you remember, like, just going to the movie theater and being shocked by niggas mm. just showing up in comic book movies? Do you, you remember when you were just sitting there the and internet, niggas just disappear? <laughs> but you gotta blame, you have to blame Marvel for putting all this stuff out. They nah, showed gotta, half nah. of Black Panther. Nah. YouTube, so they didn't put half of Black this, Panther out before it came out. How many clips of Black Panther did they, they put the whole casino scene, they put the whole car chase scene out there. They put a I lot of clips of Black know. Panther so. out before it actually hit theaters. Yeah, yeah, man, I'm with her on this one. No, 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 no. no hold on. Let me respond to that first. Before you should have put a spoiler alert. No, don't get on YouTube. Hey, man. What is the trailer? Hold on, hold on. E man, before you say what you have to say. All right. Hold on, E-Man, before you say what you have to say, I just have to say, because you guys brought up Black Panther, I just have to remind everybody oh, God, that Killmonger go. is the true and rightful ruler of Wakanda. All right, man. All right, thanks, Larry. All right, All right. thanks. Uh, look, God. the reason why I'm not about to sit here and blame Marvel is because, first of all, we're 10 years deep into this game. This is not like 2000, you know, 9, 2010. So- you know, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is, we, Marvel has trolled us before. They've shown us more things before. It is still up to us at this point. I'm just saying, after 10 plus years, when are we going to get it to wait, let the stories be told, and wait for things to be confirmed so that way we're not letting ourselves get disappointed? So I'm just saying, after a decade, when but is they the literally, they literally give away surprises. You don't think we would have wanted to be surprised in Infinity War when they fight in Wakanda? So yeah, I you don't want that to be a surprise? I mean, I wasn't I I necessarily say it was giving it away. I'm a proponent of only watching the first trailer because Marvel has a terrible, terrible representation uh, reputation of when you get to the second and third and them little bonus 30 second clips, they show you way too much. Like in uh, what was it, Ant Man? Remember Ant Man when uh, Falcon showed up and he was supposed to be a surprise cameo? They showed him in the third. Uh, but it was still you know, misleading. Trailer. It was still misleading because people were upset because y'all made it seem like it was gonna be this whole set piece in Wakanda, and they was in there for five minutes in a two and a half hour movie. I mean, <laughs> hey Lamont, that's not, not to mention, watch, watch the first trailer. Okay, I, I, okay. that's all I can tell people. Watch the first trailer, and that's it. Don't do yeah, the, the rest. Comments you showed. I got something to say on that. If, if they don't know why it was that way, um, what was this one? Quicksilver and the same actor. Well, the guy that played the uh, Quicksilver in uh, Ultron is the same actor from Kick Ass, Aaron Taylor Johnson. Yeah. And him and uh, the lady that played uh, what's her name, uh, Wanda. I can't think of her name right <laughs> now. There you go. She, they are bad. They are good friends in real life, and they work together on Godzilla. And so mm-hmm. she got the role for uh, Ultron, and she talked him into doing it. So they did it together. He didn't want to do the movie, and mm-hmm. so he only wanted to do one movie. He didn't want to do no more. And then also, you got to think about Fox Studios was separate and had the rights to X Men, mm-hmm. and then you know uh, Marvel had the Avengers and they got when Disney bought both of them now they can use X-Men and Avengers in the same thing Mm -hmm. that's why you never saw Wolverine and none of the X-Men inside of the Avengers movies and vice versa because the rights you know business that's why it's called entertainment business the business wouldn't allow (laughs) the stories to go together 
And so now, since they can't get the same guy because he's supposedly dead, but then, you know, they didn't went back in time and did this and that and changed this and that or whatever and try to do a little magic, sprinkle a little dust on it and say, all right, well, this is this guy. And so they trying to find a way to bridge the gap and keep that character, which is why they didn't call him Quicksilver in Ultron. They just could call him Pietro because the rights to the name Quicksilver was owned by Fox. And that's, that's also why, why. Call them Quicksilver. That's why they call her Scarlet Witch. But so we just gonna rewrite everybody's powers now that you have all the X Men characters. We just gonna rewrite everybody's powers because I mean, Scarlet Witch has a whole new set of powers. She has a whole new set of powers than what she had in all the previous films. They and in all the previous so films, she was still though. the strongest that's Avenger. The <laughs> yeah, she was. The <laughs> that's the sad writing. part. Yeah. What's that? She so in all the previous films, she was still the strongest Wild Avenger, Man. other than Captain mm. Marvel. But so. she ain't do shit. She ain't do nothing. She ain't do nothing. All the movies. Wait a minute. She picked up Thanos and started stripping them down. And well, then... what did Okoye say? She was like, "Beach, where the hell you been for the past ten years? Where have you been? Where you been?" Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is a good place for me to end this thing. Good lord, I got to end it here. Be sure to subscribe to everybody's channel. All their links are in the description. And if you go to the section of my video that has suggested channels, you'll find every one of these pretty African-American faces plastered up there on my board for all my 125,000 subscribers to hopefully jump ship and join them. But stick with me too.